You are listening to 40 Weeks with Vanessa Merton, host of the Pregnancy Podcast. Thank you for tuning in to the 40 Weeks Podcast. Welcome to week 30. Your little butternut squash size baby is growing this week to the size of a large head of cabbage. Your little one is measuring about 15.2 inches or 38.6 centimeters, and they weigh two and a half pounds or about 1,150 grams. Although you can only see your belly growing bigger, know that so much is still going on inside. Your baby's brain is going through a lot of development. Up until now, the surface of their brain was smooth. As their brain continues to develop, it's taking on those characteristic grooves and indentations. All those wrinkles in our brains allow for an increased amount of brain tissue, so your little baby is getting smarter every day. As their brain and their accumulation of fat cells are going to help regulate their body temperature, they are shedding lanugo, which is the downy-like hair that has been covering their bodies. Their bone marrow is also making red blood cells. It's all those little pieces that are happening to get your baby ready for life on the outside. You only have 10 weeks left until you get to meet your little one. The third trimester can often bring some challenges and everything is getting bigger and heavier and more squished. Many of the first trimester pregnancy symptoms that you thought you were done with could be coming back, like having to pee all the time, tender breasts, fatigue, and heartburn. Hang in there and know that this is all temporary and there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You get to meet your little baby. For more information on some things you may experience this trimester, listen to the third trimester episode of the Pregnancy Podcast at PregnancyPodcast.com forward slash episode five. Have you started working on a birth plan yet? This should include what interventions you and your partner do or do not want. The more preparation and planning you and your partner put in, the better your chances are of creating the birth experience you want for you and your baby. If you need a little refresher on the possible interventions that you may or may not want to include in your birth plan, you can check out episode eight of the Pregnancy Podcast at PregnancyPodcast.com forward slash episode eight. This covers everything from inductions to electronic fetal monitoring to epidurals and can really help you decide what you may want to include or not include in your birth plan. And if you're stuck with trying to create an outline for your birth plan or get an idea of how it's worded, please feel free to email me, Vanessa, at PregnancyPodcast.com and just ask me to send you a copy of my birth plan and I'll send that over just so you can get a good idea of how it could be worded. Tip for dad, if you're feeling left out because your partner gets a baby shower and you don't, plan an afternoon with the guys to celebrate you becoming a dad with a dad chiller party. Go play a round of golf, hit up a local brewery for some beers, or just hang out for a sporting event. You have a ton to celebrate too. Thank you for tuning in this week. Show notes for this episode can be found at pregnancypodcast.com forward slash week 30. Next week, you will probably be able to tell what your baby's sleep patterns are. And until then, I wish you the very best on your pregnancy journey. There are so many awesome resources available to you at PregnancyPodcast.com, and you can sign up with your email address and your due date to get a weekly email with a link to the episode for your specific week every week in your inbox. I look forward to seeing you in the Pregnancy Podcast Facebook group, which is a great place not only to connect with some other parents-to-be, but also to be able to ask questions and get answers specific to things that you are dealing with and planning for your pregnancy and birth.